It's only trails. Trails. Trail. Thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. I love you. I got that bond money. I'm going back to my roots. Every bitch around the block is trying to love me for my boots. I got that bond money. And I'm going insane. Flexing with my gilded kite on my fucking third age. Hi, I'm Only Trails, and welcome to season two. I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the end game, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on hard clues, but after I've completed 100, I will move on to elites. When I've done 50 elite clues, I'll move on to monsters. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Here we go with probably the very first casket of the episode. Please give it to me. No, it's just one more clue. On Fossil Island, let's do that. You know what I would absolutely love? Starting this episode with a rune heraldic helmet. You know what? Let's just check it out. Is it really going to be like this? Um, we're going to do enough clues today. We have 21 more to go. At least one of them has to be a heraldic helmet, right? Let's go, let's go. Oh my god! I don't want to get copy striked, but as you can see, I was very happy. But you know what? I'll put a different song under it. Casket number 81. I don't know what else to say, to be honest. There's, It's pretty straightforward. You get a casket from Mr. Jaren. You open it, you get third age. That's how it works, right? Wow. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. And we got the casket for number 82. This actually took a while. I went incredibly dry on Hellhounds. One, three out of 169. Just so you know, that's how long it takes to get a couple of these heart clues. Anyways, I hope I get rewarded. With dick side teleports? Excuse me? How many law runes am I getting? Holy shit. I think this is clue number 83, if I'm not mistaken. Luckily, we've got the Hell's Bells music track. This is the casket. Couldn't be any different because it was step number six. Don't even want to talk about it. I'm back with 10 beginner caskets and three easy caskets. Just because I didn't feel like going into the wilderness tonight. Um, there's no one protecting me and that I'm a scared little bitch. So, I'm just going to shut up and open these. Let's first do the easies. Oh, that is that is new unique. Oof, and that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, let me quickly verify, but I think it is. Yeah, boys. Oh my god, that is actually amazing. Did I have the purple ones? Yo, look at that. The full elegant set for once. Hey, that's not bad. Okay, let's quick keep going and not waste any time. Two easy caskets. Probably both going to be junk. All right. But then, the moment of truth. I think we are number 102 on the high scores for beginner clue. I already have those twice! Right, so we're <laughs> number 102 on the beginner clue high scores, but with these 10, we're gonna jump straight back into that Tom 100, so... What the f... What? I forgot how shit these clues were. <gasps> yes! The demon feet! Lads, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good, good day. Two uniques already, got the demon feet, probably the best boots. Oh my god, beautiful, alright. Uh, what was I wearing? Was I not wearing any boots? Might as well wear those then. <gasps> no way! No way! We also got the Jester Cape! Yo, we're actually so close to completing these beginner glues now. What the hell? Yo, that is actually really what I want. Oh my god, that is probably the only unique I actually wanted from beginner clues. Alright, three more. Can we get one more unique? Probably not, right? Okay, no problem though. <laughs> no problem. Let me quickly check the collection log on these beginner clues because we actually only... I think we only need four more. Alright, no, seven. <laughs> sandwich lady, sandwich lady, monk. Mole slippers and these two ornament kits. All right, after a while, we finally got another hard casket. I think I went about 200 hellhounds dry, but we're here. Casket number 84. Let's do it. That is unique. That is actually a unique. Got another one. I wouldn't have liked the heraldic helmet, to be 100% honest, but you know what's happening. Yate, yate, yate. We got a new unique. What? 15 caskets left after this one. This is casket number 85. Boom, boom. I'm just incredible at puzzles, I just see stuff. I'm gonna drop a couple sharks. So we have place for the third age. Banos, I think we already got that. I think we already got that, that hurts. Yo, it was actually unique. I was so unhyped, but it was the ancient play buddy we already had. Oh shit. Another clip, another casket, let's get it. Oh, that is so great. Yes, a sourdough play buddy. Yo, we got so many uniques this episode already. 13 clues left. And that is actually one of the most beautiful play bodies, in my honest opinion. Only the Zamorak, the Guthics, and the G play body, and I think we got all of them. Do you see this? I have no boots on. I want gilded boots. Crazy item to wish for, but... Ancient Fool Helm is another unique, I think. Clue scroll number... 
Never mind. This goddamn heraldic helmet. I need it. I need it so bad. Alright, uh, Jagex, you better fucking not disappoint me after that heraldic helmet step- and GIVE ME THE- YES! THERE'S NO WAY THAT ACTUALLY HAPPENED! <laughs> that is so great! Oh yes, no more scares for these lost 11 clues. I can actually do everything now. What are the chances? I'm so incredibly happy. Yes, let's go and get those 11 grinded out. Lads, a historical moment has arrived. This is clue scroll casket number 90. 10 more to go. And then we get the elites. Let's see. You know, I would have loved something a little better, but we got the heraldic step on the previous one, so I'm not complaining at all. And we meet again. But this time... I can do it. So fuck you, Mr. Clue. Don't try and screw me over the lost nine clues. Cause we are gonna do this one. But do I have a rune spear? That's actually a good question. Oh my god, I actually do. What? <laughs> Where did I ever get that? There we go. And that's the casket. Can we actually get something from a rune heraldic co helmet casket? Let's see. Uh, no. Alright boys, no screwing around. Let's get to it. Nanny 2, 8 more to go. It's absolute trash. We're close. We're close. I gotta go. Casket number 93. Here we go. Right, we have 7 more clues to go, but I want to take a little small break just because I'm wondering how much all of the scrolls in my monster scroll book are worth. So, uh, I'm gonna have to take all of them out. Alright, and that is all of them. Guys, I'm gonna guess... How much is this going to be? Um, let's say... I'm guessing about 6.3 mil. If you want to play along, type in the comments and don't skip ahead. How much you think these are worth? Alright, here we go. Price checker, I guess. Put all that in. Wow, that was a bit of an overstatement. 2.7 mil only. Which ones are worth the most? Probably these y lumber yards, right? Yeah, by far. And the dick sites. I don't know why. I'd guess Morton or... Mostly harmless, but apparently not. Let's put these all back and continue these hard clues. We're back with the casket. This is casket number 94. Can we get something before we go to Elite? Apparently not. Five more after this one, and then we're completely done. As you can see in my inventory, I had the heraldic step again, but this time, just like last time, doesn't bother me anymore. And it kind of makes me happy every single time I get this one back, because I can legit complete every single hard clue right now. Enough talk. Let's get this hard clue opened. And that's an element of glory tea! Yo, that is, we already have the glory, so it's not that incredibly useful anymore, but, you know, it's a new unique and it's absolutely beautiful. I think that's actually rarer than normal uniques, so pretty glad about that one. Uh, we got it a little late, <laughs> could have used it before I got the crafting level for the glory, but I'm still happy with that. Five more to go. Lads, 96. Let's go. Trash. I'm walking towards the completion of the 98th clue scroll. I'm getting excited as I speak because I'm so <laughs> excited to start doing these elite clues. Holy shit, this is the casket. I don't even care what's in Oh, that's not even bad. I don't even care what's in it, but yo. It is not that beautiful, but it is <laughs> it is something new, something we don't have yet. Let's get these wait, it's 97? God damn it, I thought it was 98. Right, so this casket is number 98. Two more to go. Let's get this out of the way. It's trash, but nothing. Can kill my mood right now. We're going straight for those uniques. I mean elites. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> I have 302 cannonballs exactly left to get two more clue scrolls. And uh, I just got 80 range, which is pretty insane. Didn't even expect to hit that today. We did 94,000 range experience this day. We're coming to an end of the hard journey and the 80 range is just the icing on the cake. The one to lost hard casket before we start elites. Can we get something beautiful right at the end? No, but maybe we're building RNG for the very last one. Let's get it. Oh my god, I actually did it. The 100th heart clue with only 170 cannonballs left. <sighs> this is it. This is it, boys. The last heart clue before we start elites. Let's do this. Lads, here we go. This is the absolute last casket. All right, I've decided not to host the whole party because on 1,000 clues, which we're actually pretty close to, about 150 left, I'm going to host a massive party and giveaway of five bonds and everything. I just want to enjoy these 100 hard clues on my own for a bit, and then we'll have a massive party on 1,000 total clues. What do you guys think? But more on that later when we're closer to the goal. Anyways, here we go for the 100th hard casket. Boom. It's trash! 
It's absolute trash, but it's over. Look at that number on the bottom. And now there's only a couple things left to do. So this is the Heart Clue tab. This is everything I got from Heart Clues. Um, except there's a couple Alcables still in there, like uh, the Rune Kite Shield. But I think that's it. That's kind of it. We got a monster clue, but that is from, uh, I think, Easy's even. Yeah, this is everything from 100 hard clues. A couple are still in here, like the shared clue stuff. Let me get the collection log out real quick. Go to hard. We had 40 out of 100, which is not too bad. Got a Berserker Neck Ornament Kit and a lot of rune trimmed armor. That is the main gist of it. A couple of blessed D hides that aren't too bad. And a couple of Cavaliers. Red Dragon Mask and the Glory T. Good bonuses, but nothing incredible. But we'll make it work. Right. So we have an elite clue somewhere in this bank. There it is. There's it. It is on tab two. Get that out of there. Get that nest out of here. There it is. It looks absolutely beautiful, the gold trim. I've decided I'm going to keep rocking this outfit for the time being because one, I haven't worn it a lot. <laughs> I think we've been in here for like a month and a half. And also, I didn't get that many fashion scape from the heart clues. So I guess season three has a little bit more waiting to do. But first, there's one important thing we have to do before we open this elite clue. We're here in Watson's house. And now that we started Unique Clues, I have to enable the Mimic. Yes, I'd like to get Mimic challenges, and that's how it goes. We can now do an incredible boss fight while doing Elite Clues. And now the moment we've all been waiting for it, Lance. I'm so excited. I and this guy is something I'm gonna get very soon with these monster clues. I'm almost scared to open it, lads. I'm, <laughs> I'm legit almost scared to open it. But here we go. Just a very simple one we can actually do. <laughs> right, so up to this point, I might be overprepared. <laughs> Let me get that out of the way first. But up to this point, I have never in my life done any elite clues or any monster clues. So I have no idea what they expect. I know these coordinate clues spawn an Avancy or a Bandos minion. I have no idea how strong they are, but I'm not taking any risks. So it's a Bandos minion, which is good because he only does melee. Easy to protect, right? And I hope he's not too difficult, but he seems to be Decent. All right, so this guy's not that big of a problem. That was easy enough. Let's check this next one. Oh No, oh no the first Sherlock one. This could be a Massive grind already. I'm scared because I have no idea what this guy can give me I've only heard bad things about him if you complete it. I'll give you something <sighs> Right, what is a challenge? Oh crap. It says it's on the elite clue. Oh shit. I still have to open it Please tell me that is not Oh, it's 65! I thought it was 85! Oh, that's amazing! Oh, I'm so happy! Holy shit, I thought... I thought it was a smoke devil. Oh, oh yes! Yo, lads, I'm a kid in a goddamn candy store with these elite clues. I'm doing all of these things for the first time, and they're all decent, apparently. Oh, so far, I'm not gonna toot my own horn just yet, but, um... There we go. 300 Earth Runes! Holy shit, not bad. Let's go back to Sherlock. Alright, Sherlock, here you go, dude. Uh... I did it. New elite clue. Okay, another Sherlock step. This scares me. But, yo. Oh, that's a big fire. Yo, that's a bit of fire making training. That's not too bad. Get 60 fire making. That's not too bad. I can I can rock that out today, I think. So I'm burning all the logs from my bank, and I'll quickly explain to you guys what the plan is. We just got 45, which means I can burn maple logs, and luckily I have a couple on my bank. Now, hopefully this is enough to get 50 fire making. As you know, the task is to burn a U log. Unfortunately, I already have 60 wood cutting from a fletching grind I had to do quite a while ago. So I'm going to try and keep my woodcutting training to a minimum. With that 50 fire making, you guys probably know it, I'm going to be doing my first winter tot kills. Aw oh, shit, I already messed it up. <laughs> first elite clue and I'm already missing levels. I just got 50 fire making and I still have about 250 maple logs left. I think I'll refrain from burning them because I might use them in the future. Yeah, I know I'm burning these last couple, but I don't think that matters too much. If I ever get a fletching grind in the close future, you know, I still have 266 logs. Right, now let's check if I actually have warm clothes for Winter Todd. Right, let's get this lost piece and um, look at this boy. What Iron Man or Hardcore Iron Man do at the very first day of creating their account, I'm going to do eight months into my account. Let's go to Winter Todd. All right, my first run into this beautiful place. It has been, you know, I want to say since the release of Hardcore Iron Man since I've been here. Holy shit. I don't know how much it hits with uh, 81 hit points. I've heard that it hits way harder with high HP and that it's really not advised to do it with this high HP or something like that. See, I'm getting hit nines. Gotta watch out for that, but I still completely got hit. What? How did I get hit for a... Fuck. <laughs> I'm taking the risks. I'm taking the risk, guys. You know I'm a chance. I'm a chance taker. I don't even know if this is a 
a safe zone, but yeah, I just died at winter time. We might gain a woodcutting level this trip, but literally without that, fire making is not possible. 27? I was just checking. I was just checking. I didn't run into that. I, I mean, I did run into that on purpose, right? That's actually the dragon axe unlocked. I'm not going to fledge. I'm solely going to woodcut, obviously, because I'm, I'm not allowed to train fletching. And that's the first winter taunt fire making level. 51, nine more to go. Man, this minigame, or boss, I guess I should say, is broken, dude. <laughs> 52. I'm getting a level every single run, so I won't be here for a very long time, I guess. I'm, I don't have good food anymore. I have stews that I need to first eat, which takes two ticks. Like, one tick more than any other food, and then I still have to drop the bowls? It's pretty awful, man. I need karam ones or something to double eat, because this is not really efficient, but as long as I'm getting the crates, I'm not too pissed. Boom. Then get four more? I can get it. Easy. This is my first 750 crate. I didn't even know it was possible, but these sharks are clutch. I, uh, I switched to the big guns, and this is way better. I uh, should have used sharks from the first time. That's 55 fire making, too. Beautiful. We might actually get two levels this next trip. By the way, I am now east side gang. Um, this side is way better. Everyone who does winter taunt on the west side, I used to do it, but um, I've switched. I'm sorry. I'm now East Gang. Lads, I just want to say I'm pretty proud of myself. I managed to do four rounds in one go, and that is 60 fire making. We can now burn you logs, so <laughs> we're done. 10 winter taunt kill count as you can see in the chat. Um, I think they don't count the failed attempts, so let's say it took about 11 to 12 attempts, so that's basically a level every single run but now the thing you've all been waiting for the one thing i'm hoping for is the toma fire because that will make my barrows runs in the future way easier way better all of them except for one are i think two rolls or three rolls one of them might be uh one more that's burned pages that's good if we ever get that toma fire one runite ore not too amazing more burned pages and i don't think we're going to get anything decent 25k cash a couple of snake grass seeds and bird pages am i going to take that guess i'll have to guess i'll have to let's get this sherlock step out of the way though that's why we came here for by the way i've got these three bonds in the bank for the giveaway we're doing i talked about earlier all right choppy you kind of pissed that this is now 61 here you go buddy and now another elite so this is going to be step number three an elite clue consists of five to seven steps so um we're doing good so far but we could all fuck it up with one step what is this top of the cliff west of polymer each i think we can actually do that let's see how much this big boy hits i'm over prepared again anyways this is step number five so this might be the cost because if it's not too shitty yo again a coordinate clue i think i can do all of those oh it's the same one right so as i said this might be it. If I dig my spade into the dirt and a casket comes up, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go crazy. Oh my god! We did it! The very first elite casket, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Holy shit, the same day we got 100 hard clues done. Our first elite, we got a small grind out of the way, the fire making, and we got the casket. Oh my god, let's see. What is the very first thing we got? No way! No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! No way, no way. Holy shit! No way! No, there's actually no way that I actually got the Ranger 2. Oh my god, people are gonna hate me. People are gonna hate me for life. <laughs> oh my shit! No, dude! I'm good. Oh my god. That is insane. That is actually insane.